back to the Open Tech Studio. The guests keep on rolling in. Uh, this time I'm joined by Ntogo from AXA, Airports Company South Africa. And firstly, thanks for taking the time to chat. Obviously, as a Thank you, Robin. part of a government entity, uh, you're obviously very busy. So again, we always appreciate when people take the time to chat to us in the studio because uh, we don't we don't get to head out there and see inside the keynote. So um, they kind of keep us all pinned inside here. So th again, thanks for taking the time. Um, Airports Company South Africa. Uh, before we kind of get into all of that stuff, perhaps your role there, can you just unpack it for the people that are tuning into the live stream? Okay, so uh, I'm a group CIO at the airports company South Africa. We run a network of nine airports in the country. So um, we're one of the government wholly owned companies uh, mm -hmm. or state owned entities. So that's what we do. Great stuff. Um, then if I may, government or state owned entities have taken a bit of flack, not necessarily AXA, but some of the other ones. Yeah. Um, what has your role as Group CIO been in terms of winning back or perhaps keeping South African citizens' confidence in the company itself? How has that kind of been for you guys? So it, it has been a difficult journey. Mm -hmm. uh, if you take back um, starting 2020 when we had COVID, so we're a company that has lost probably in revenue uh, base uh, over three and a half billion rands mm. uh, in terms of loss of, of sales. So um, <clears throat> as you will see our financial statement coming out this year, we back onto, onto uh, sustainability, uh, we're breaking even. So we're hoping that as the passenger numbers are growing um, uh, in the next year, we will be starting to be profitable. Uh, great stuff. Yeah. And that move to profitability, um, I'm assuming it wasn't just a case of waiting for things to return to normal. I'm assuming AXA was quite proactive in terms of what it was trying to do. Can you perhaps unpack some of the strategies that you as a company were trying to kind of push forward? Okay, so what we've done as a company uh, between 2020 and now is optimizing our, our um, operations. Mm -hmm. So we have managed to reduce our operational spend by over 30%, so in the past three years. So those are the key things that we've been doing and um, we have stabilized our environment from a technology standpoint, mm -hmm. uh, introduced um, a lot of cloud-based solutions into, into the environment and as you will see in the next two years, we're gonna start to introduce uh, self-service type um, services to our, to our passengers just to make sure that the passenger experience actually start to grow. Sure, uh, yeah. what kind of other things are you planning as far as improving customer experience is concerned? So as you have seen, Mr. Naidu this morning, uh, he was talking about he was talking about Heathrow Airport, mm -hmm. as well as um, um, and Dubai Airport. So there is a lot of passenger experience self-service e gates that we're doing. We started the projects in Cape Town. We are doing Watambo in this year. Uh, all the way to next year in improving using digital identity as part of as part of the collaboration between ourselves and Department of Home Affairs. Right, I'm assuming the plan is to do all nine airports as well. Yes, we will start in the next two years. We're going to start with the international airports, um, and then we'll then grow into into the local airports or regional airports. Great stuff. Um, so your attendance here at the Open Tech Summit. Uh, you were formerly a micro-focused customer. Yeah. Um, now that OpenText has kind of acquired the company, what are your thoughts as far as the kind of OpenText environment? Is it something that you guys are looking at potentially moving forward? Yeah, I think that that is what we're looking at because I think as 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 we looking into into OpenText and how they orchestrating data management, mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of data that sit at our airport but the key issue is how do we start monetizing that data uh, using uh, platforms like open text uh, because in any business case that we do we want to see where we're going how much money we're making out of it and what benefit can it add into our passengers or into our customers in in the in the in the ecosystem Great stuff i'm assuming that uh, the monetization of data has to be tempered with regulation, things like Popier and stuff like that. Yes. Is, is OpenTix a company that you think can assist you on that front as well? So we're looking into those type of things, mm -hmm. um, whether OpenTix can be the, that partner. 
um, but we we looking into their their use cases they've been doing, especially in Dubai and um, and other big banking customers and telco companies in the country, including including SARS. I think they they doing fantastic in the in those areas. But those are the use cases that we're looking into in as to how can we benefit into what they've done in government for us to collaborate with the other agencies of government without recreating some of the things that has already been created. Um, I'd like to perhaps end just uh, looking over the next 12 months or so. Uh, if you, for example, are at the next Open Tech Summit, yeah. um, what kind of use case would you guys like to be presenting? You mentioned uh, during the keynote, uh, Heathrow Airport, for yeah. example. What kind of presentation would Axel would like to kind of present? So I think, I think the ambition that we have as a company is um, how can we facilitate frictionless travel mm -hmm. uh, through our all nine airports as a passenger, uh, without you getting stuck, without you talking to anyone before you come into your destination. So that is the use case that we want to drive, that is the use case that we want to see happening in real life. Oh, great stuff. Yeah. I'm assuming not only as group CIO, but yeah. as a frequent flyer yourself, yes. you likely want to have the same experience. So hopefully exactly. that does come to fruition. Uh, again, we do appreciate you taking the time to chat to us. Thank um, you very much. And uh, we will be having more interviews uh, coming up uh, during the course of the day. Only not even halfway through all of our uh, kind of scheduled interviews that will be taking place at the Open Tech Summit. So do check in with us a bit later and we'll have some more guests with some insightful insights. So Thank thanks you, again. Thank you very much for having me. Sure thing. Thank you.